Hey everybody, welcome to the Solar Sistar channel. It's your girl Solar Sistar coming to you once again with another video. Guys, in today's video, I actually wanted to share something with you. I attempted something yesterday that turned out to be a debacle um, and I wanted to share it with you. Before we move forward though, if you would go ahead and thumbs up the video, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Also hit the notification bell if you want to be made aware of any upcoming videos and feel free to share the video with anyone you think might benefit. So guys, listen, being in this repatriation process has been uh, an exciting thing for me. It's also given me um, the desire to be creative, you know, just to try new things, to be open to new opportunities, etc. So right now we're in mango season. I think the full blown season is like June, but even right now, a lot of the trees are producing ripened fruit here. And that's the beauty about being here in the Gambia too. The mangoes are growing in abundance here. And I think most people have a mango tree in their compound. And if they don't have one in their compound, there's a bunch of mango trees down the street. I mean, you can just be walking down the street and mangoes are just hanging um, from the tree. Um, but because the mangoes grow in abundance here, I had it in my head. You know, I have all these things that I want to do with mangoes. And being a bake baker when i was a baker in the states now i wasn't a baker you know for profit i wasn't a baker you know uh, catering for people or anything i just baked because it was relaxing and i would share things that i baked you know with people and i didn't kill anybody so i guess they were <laughs> the baked goods were all right but um i wanted to get back to baking because it is relaxing to me and i had um one of the ideas that i had was to make a mango cobbler and so y'all, the mango cobbler, I thought about the mango cobbler because the mangoes are kind of like the same consistency of peaches. And so I was like, okay, well, I've done peach cobbler. Let me try this, you know, mango cobbler. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. So anyway, my oven is a gas oven here. And I have never baked on a gas oven before. Um, I've always had electric ovens or whatever, but this was new, so I was really just kind of biding my time uh, of when I was going to attempt to bake something in that oven, like a, a dessert. Um, of course, I baked other things, but I'm talking about like a cake or whatever. So I was like, well, let me just think of something that I could do that doesn't have a lot of ingredients. So if it turns out to be trash, I will, I will, will not have lost a lot of flour, sugar, whatever. Y'all, I put the mango, the mango cobbler was cute now. <laughs> it was cute, kind of got burned around the edges. But that mango cobbler was trash. Not only was I having to learn how to bake on a gas oven, but I had to translate the Fahrenheit into Celsius, because that's what is on the, um, that's how the temperature gauge is on this oven, it's in Celsius. Y'all, it looked like it might have tasted all right. <laughs> it, it, the flavor was okay, but it was trash. But now I at least have attempted to bake and I have an idea of what things I need to do in order to make sure that the oven temperature is correct. And I also feel like I, I know what to do now to make that recipe better. So I'm going to try it again. And if it turns out to be as good as I want it to be, I'll probably be selling some mango cobbler out in these streets for y'all. But y'all, my reason for, for um, doing this video was really to get people to open up their eyes uh, wherever you are. Um, you can be in the States, you can be here. If there are resources that are available to you that you are not utilizing, then you are out of order. Um, here in the Gambia, if you have mangoes that are in your compound or around your compound, and you haven't figured out ways to utilize that free fruit that is growing on those trees in abundance, then you're out of order. Um, if you are, uh, you have a compound where you have some ground and you have not planted a seed to grow anything that you eat, then you are out of order. So my purpose of this video was to just see opportunities wherever you are. Find ways. Uh, to create 
opportunities wherever you are. You know, being out of the matrix um, in this repatriation process, you feel free to be able to think about things that you always wanted to do or things you never thought you would want to do, but you come up with all these ideas because you no longer have the toxicity of the West pulling you back into nonsense. So I'm just excited about this mango cobbler, y'all, and I'm excited about the other things that I want to do with these mangoes. But y'all, if I get this recipe right, look out. Your girl is coming. Your girl is coming. <laughs> so guys, like I always say, if you can't do anything else, protect your head space, protect your heart space, guys, and keep your vibration high. It's your girl, Solar Sister. Until the next one.